What's up guys, Parker here. I have an awesome video today showing you how to determine the hierarchy level of your visual. Uh, this is a solution I've been looking for for a while, so I was really happy when I figured it out. You can just use the uh, is in scope function to determine that hierarchy level. Uh, so for example, we have a combo chart here. Uh, this combo chart has a an axis for order date, but it's uh, set up on a hierarchy from year, quarter, month, and day. So right now we're on the year level. Uh, just one application of uh, knowing your hierarchy level, you can set these dynamic goals based on hierarchy level. So I have a goal of 7 million set up for the year level. But as we drill down from year to quarter, you see that goal is now 1.5 million. And as we drill down from quarter to month, that goal changes to 0.5 million. And we can even drill into day where I've set that goal to 500. Uh, so this goal can be dynamic based on the level of your hierarchy, based on a built-in date hierarchy. Or another example, um, I've created another bar chart just with a custom uh, a custom hierarchy set up with gender, country, and product category. So basically right here, I've just set it up to where the tooltip basically just displays some note about the hierarchy level. So right now, if we hover over the female category, you see the hierarchy level just says note about gender. Or as we drill down into the female category uh, into uh, the countries, we just change that hierarchy level note to note about country. And finally, drill into country and see a note note about product category. So it's actually pretty uh, dynamic here. It allows us to determine which level you're, we're at. You can display a message to the user if you want, or you can just kind of show some dynamic uh, values. So I'm gonna show you how to set this up. It's super easy to do. So let's go back to the date, uh, and we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this hierarchy level date. So what we wanna do is we wanna create a new measure, wherever you wanna create that. Right click, new measure. And I'm gonna call this measure hierarchy level date uh, for the purpose of this demo. And what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna use the uh, switch function. And I've used this a few times in my videos, so you wanna set it to true, so it's gonna evaluate for true. So right now we wanna use the is in scope function. And before we actually use that, I wanna show you what this looks like. So the is in scope function uh, basically looks like this in the documentation. It returns true when the specified column is is the level in a hierarchy of levels. So it's kind of exactly what we're looking for here. So back to Power BI, uh, we're going to use this is in scope function. And right now I'm using the order date field for my sales table. So if is in scope order date. And right now it's going to allow you to select which subdivision of that order date you want to use. Uh, basically the rule of thumb here is you want to use the uh, most inward level and work your way out. So the bottom level I have is the day level. And so I'm gonna choose day, and we're gonna set that uh, desired goal. So uh, you know, for these values, it looks like a nice goal would be around 30,000. Next, we can use an is in scope for that same order date based on the month. And we're gonna set that goal equal to something like uh, 100,000. We'll do this a couple more times. So is in scope for that order date based on quarter. And we'll set that equal to 3 million. I got to close off the parentheses. 3 million. And finally, is in scope for the order dates. And now based on the year level, and uh, somewhere I think it was around 7 million would make sense. And that's it. So if you close that off, and throw this into the line values for this purpose. Uh, this is the one. Throw it into line values. You see now we're on the date level, or the day level. So we have that uh, that goal of thirty thousand, but we can drill up now and see the difference. So if, as we drill up into the month level, uh, we see that goal of a hundred thousand, which is way too low. But we can drill up higher into quarters and see that goal of three million and finally drill up into the year level and see that dynamic goal. So that's really cool. Um, you're allowed to do that with the built-in date hierarchy. Finally, let's do that with the custom hierarchy. So we're gonna build this one from scratch. Uh, let's create a bar chart. Doesn't have to be a bar chart, but I'm gonna do that for these purposes. Uh, and I'm going to bring in a couple of new fields. So I'm gonna use my total sales as the value uh, and take in a couple of uh, let's go with maybe city in the axis. There's going to be a lot of cities there. Um, and customer, I will take in the 
let's say total children field and finally maybe the uh, we will go with marital status so now we have city total children and marital status so as we drill down from city then we have total children and then finally we have the marital status married or single so we're going to create a final measure here and I'm going to call this uh, hierarchy if I spelled it right hierarchy level uh, custom hierarchy and we're going to set this equal to the same function so we're going to use the switch function set equal to true but we're going to use the is in scope function uh, of our bottom level so marital status so is in scope marital status and we just want this to say anything to our users so basically we're going to say uh, this is a message about uh, marital status and we're going to do the exact same thing so I'm going to go ahead and copy this so for our three levels we're starting with the inside level which is marital status then we go to total children and finally city oh and that comes from the geography table okay and there we go so that's our entire measure so we now have our is and scopes for the three levels and the three notes about them and if we get rid of the comma should be good so now we're starting on the city so we need to throw in that new measure into the tooltips and finally if we hover over we see this is a message about city but we can drill into that specific uh, specific city. Uh, there we go. And now we're on the total number of children level. We see this is a message about total children. And finally, we can drill into marital status and see this is a message about marital status. Uh, so one note uh, of why you want to use is in scope. It's because it's perfect uh, for this kind of uh, analysis because it just looks at the hierarchy level. Uh, you could use is filtered to do a very similar thing, but is filter wouldn't be perfect because if you have slicers on the side and you're slicing based on, let's say, you're on the city level, but you have a slicer for total number of children here on the left, uh, that would actually filter this. So it, a total number of children would be filtered at that point. So it's not in scope ever on um, on this view, but it could be filtered if there were a slicer. So I want to make that distinction in case you thought that might be a good idea. I was doing that originally, but turns out isn't scope handles this situation much better. So I hope you like this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video.